Yeah, and a lot of people always ask me, how could you talk to so few people and know how the entire country is going to vote or whatever it may be? Yeah. And this is an analogy you probably heard, maybe others have heard, the bowl of soup analogy, which is I don't have to eat the whole bowl of soup to be able to take one spoonful and taste how hot it is or, you know, know what it tastes like. And that's true in some respects still, but I'd say it's outdated. And now people should understand because if you ask any other pollster or most any other pollster that question, they're going to ramble on and on about randomization and the laws of randomization and give you that spiel uh, with the, the tomato soup spiel. Right? And the truth is, that's not really true anymore. The truth is that we don't behave the same like we did 30, 40 years ago. Not everybody has a landline. Not everybody's as willing to participate as mm -hmm. others. So we, we always try to stress to people that different groups of people respond to different modes of collection, different ways we reach you at different rates. So if you're only reaching people with certain modes, you're going to slant one way. So we're big proponents of, of mixed mode surveys. But now the analogy has changed. Now it's not a bowl of tomato soup. Now it's a bowl mm -hmm. of beef stew. And you can't <laughs> just even take one spoonful because if you do, you may get a carrot but not celery. You may get celery but not the meat. You definitely didn't get a piece of potato. I mean, you're digging at the bottom and you're like, why do I keep getting potatoes, man? Like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs>